All right, so today's topic is avoiding procrastination, <laughs> right? I know, <laughs> everyone's favorite, procrastination. Well, I chose this topic today because, see, it is, what is it, it's Saturday over here, and I'm supposed to be working on homework assignments, working on various things, and I was just having so much trouble getting started and trying to find something to do because I'm waiting on some things to before I can do other things and I finally just said you know what I need to do something I need to get something done today because I need to feel like I've had a productive day so I'm gonna make a video and then I was like, I had so many video ideas that I was gonna do today and I kept just like going through them and I'm just like, no, I could do this, but I don't wanna do this. And eventually I just said, you know what? I'm procrastinating and I'm gonna make a video today about how to avoid that procrastination, which is what I'm doing right now by getting something done, which is making this video today. All right, so the first thing really to know about procrastination is to figure out why you're putting it off. And I know a lot of us have time right now, I hear. I have classes and full-time work and so many things that I can just barely keep up right now. So I don't have a ton of time, but for those of us who do have a lot of time right now and are having trouble getting things done, Think about like what are your goals that you want to get done and what is preventing you from reaching those goals and maybe it's a lack of motivation or a lack of like knowing what to do or where to start which is a challenge for many people especially when we look at language learning many people ask i don't know where where should i start with learning spanish should i start with vocabulary should i start with grammar should i start with this should i start with that when really the truth is just start somewhere start anywhere do something make some kind of progress towards your goal because getting in there and getting started on even if it's just a little bit like even if it's just you're trying to learn spanish and you start on duolingo or you start by studying vocabulary with flashcards or you start by doing exercises in a workbook just do something do something to get started and then work your way through it from there and there's really so many things that i can compare this to and that's why this category on my channel is for strategies about learning and strategies really for doing like anything that you're trying to do because learning a language the skills that you use to do that are skills that you really use in many aspects of your life like you know avoiding procrastination getting started you do need to do that to learn a language organization you need to have a plan knowing what you're doing that's a skill for learning a language and a skill for pretty much anything that you do like if you look at my youtube channel for example i have an organization system for that i have my videos categorized into playlists and those playlists into sections and everything is organized and i wouldn't say that i am the most organized person in the world but i definitely pride myself on my organization so expect a video about organization at some point in the future anyway this video is mainly about procrastination so how can you avoid procrastination make a list of things that you need to do and you can make this list for the day, you can make this list for your long-term plans, whatever it is, but write it down, start with a list, and then at least you know what you need to do, and then you can cross things off as you go. Let me actually show you guys an example of this. I'm gonna grab some notebooks from my desk over on this side real quick. All right, I am back. And so I've got here, I've got a, let's start with this one. I've got a notebook for my YouTube and for my business that I keep all of my plans and ideas and just everything in here. So when I have ideas that I wanna get started on something, I write it down here. And then after I make that video, then I cross it off of my list. 
So this notebook isn't all that organized per se because it's kind of just got like this page has learning strategies so you can see like I've got a whole page of learning strategy ideas and then over here I've got ideas for some Spanish videos and I really just got all kinds of things it's just somewhere where and then for braces ideas and it's just somewhere where I can dump all of my ideas for videos and so I don't forget anything and then when I'm ready to make a video then I go there and I can cross them off of my list. So I do this for my long-term planning and then for my short-term planning and when I have a day where I just don't know what I'm doing, I will just open up to a new page and sometimes it'll be in this notebook, sometimes it'll be in a different one. And um, when I'm done with the pages, I like to rip them out so that everything's done and then they're gone. So that's why there's not a lot of pages in here with writing on them. But um, when I have a day when I'm just struggling, like I don't know what I want to do, then I'll sit down and I'll write it down. So I'll write down like today, make a video. Today, finish an assignment for my class. Today, write a blog piece, which I haven't done for a while. Whatever it is, I make a list of the things that I want to accomplish in that day and, and then I cross them off as I go through them. So part of the reason that helps me is because really the struggle is getting started. And that is my way of getting started many times is just by making that list. And then I can see like, okay, this is what I need to do. It's really not that bad if once it's broken down. So it helps you see it and it makes it not quite as overwhelming. And I found that helpful to get started. All right, and then I have a, another notebook that has my classes. So I mentioned in one of my videos to you guys that I am taking Spanish classes currently. I'm working on my second bachelor's degree in Spanish and this is how I keep myself organized for that. So I've got my first section like today we're in week eight so we've got my week and then I've got my topics for each of those that I have to get done. So when I get them done, then I cross them off my list. And I also write the date that it's due. So I can keep track of that over here. And I have three classes. So I write the title of the class and then I write the assignments for the week. And then I do that for each one of them. So as you can see here, my three classes. And then I have, I use highlighters as well. So I use the pink to indicate that I'm waiting on, <laughs> like waiting for the instructor to provide feedback for my essay so that I can revise it. So I'm waiting for that. So that tells me that I have to come back to it. And then I use the orange to tell me that I am looking ahead into this. This assignment is not due until the following week, but I put it on here so that I know something I need to get started on. I have a project. I have two of those projects coming up that will be in week nine. And, and then these that aren't highlighted, that are not crossed off, those really should be highlighted. Those are things that I'm waiting for for discussion forums. I'm waiting for someone else to post. And I just noticed that my overhead light has been on this whole time. So this video is probably kind of yellow. I'm gonna see what I can do to fix that when I go to edit it. But unfortunately, it's probably just gonna be kind of yellow and I usually either use natural lighting like I'm doing right now or my I set up my lights and I turned that off but I didn't turn it off so this is what we have today we'll work with what we have so anyway back to that so you probably see like with that part of my way of avoiding procrastination is that I set my own deadlines so right now even though it's going to be week eight starting like now going through to the end of next week I already finished most of the week eight assignments because my goal is to finish all of my assignments one week ahead of time, but that has its own challenges because sometimes I have to wait for other people so that I can respond to them or sometimes I have to wait for the instructor to post assignments that aren't available yet. So that's why I write it all out and then I mark them that way and then I can move on to the following week and not have to keep waiting, so like waiting to move forward on those. I can go on to the next week and start working on assignments and then I can go back when those other ones are available and then I can finish those. So that's why I mark them in that way and that organization system helps me so much. I used to be a chronically late person and chronic, like chronically good at all kinds of problems but changing the timeline so that I can be late and still be early if that makes any sense I'll try to explain that a little bit more has helped me to always be on time, pretty much always be on time. There's always once in a while, you know, things happen. But 
what I do is like if I'm going somewhere, I plan I have to be there at eight in the morning. I plan to be there at seven because I know I'm gonna be late. I just know what I'm going to. So I plan to be there at seven and then I'm getting there at like 7.30. So then I end up being early even though I'm late according to my own plan. So this is the way that my brain works, you guys. Um, yours might be, different. yours is different. You have it, you know, everyone is, different and you have to find what works for you. But I'm sharing my strategies because maybe you can take a few things that you like that work for you or maybe you don't like any of them and that's fine. Learn from different people and different approaches and figure out what works for you. Figure out what is your style. Basically what I would like for you guys to take away from this video today is that you need to get started. Find somewhere, some way to just start whether it is that you are learning spanish or you are trying to become a more organized person you are trying to graduate from college or get a job or whatever it is just start working on something any progress is better than nothing so start wherever it is whatever you can do make a list make a plan and then dive into it and figure it out from there because you can spend so much time thinking about oh i could do it this way or i could do it this way or i have all these plans plans are great but not if you never put them into action so make a plan and then find somewhere to just jump in and start all right I uh, hope that this was useful to you guys and not just too much of me rambling. If you do like these kind of videos, please let me know. I enjoy doing these kind of videos because they're kind of like a relaxing day for me where I can just talk to you guys and share what I know and what I've learned through my studies and through all of my experience. And yeah, I like having these kind of sit down and chat kind of videos once in a while. But uh, let me know what you think and I will be back here with another video for you guys on Monday. Ciao!